welcome back to the Sports Direct Sports Fest. And today we have the final episode, episode number five. It's all been leading up to this. Are you excited, Els? I am so excited about this one because it's none other than the Cyclone. This is the most outrageous event of them all. And it's going to decide the winning team, the winner of the Sports Fest 2022. I am so excited to see how this pans out. guys so we have a 70 mile an hour wind firing as each of you guys individually are going to run and there are several white circles that you need to go and you need to stand on one of them by the time your entire team is all stood on one of the circles the timer will stop the fastest team to achieve that wins right and the only time that the next person can go is when someone has already gone on one of the white spots. So one by one is what I'm saying, okay? Make sense? Any questions? All right, do you want to figure out an order in which you want to do this in? Coco and Marika. All right, this looks pretty serious. They're coming up with tactics. While we wait, should we just, oh, by the way, guys, do your worst, yeah? Do your worst. Maybe not all at once. If you stagger it, you might be better off, but yeah, do your worst. Red team, Jack, how do you think you're going to get on? Uh, I don't know. I'm tired. I don't think we can do this, mate. I've lost the confidence. He's doing this. It's called reverse psychology. Apparently, we've made a lot of ops for uh, cheating. So, I don't know. Surely winning it all would be the ultimate payback. The, uh, you know, it would shut them up. How do you think you're going to get on? You're standing back here. You're eyeing things up. How are you going to do? No, we're gonna we're gonna do some serious damage. I genuinely think we're gonna win. We've got a strategy in mind. The tactics are in. I think you know it as well. I think you know we're gonna win. I, I really, yeah. He knows as well. All right, guys. Uh, we're gonna head on up to the top here, and then we'll get the countdown going, and we'll get this show on the road. All right. Okay. Okay. Cal, tell me who's going to win this. I don't know, you know, it's going to be tight. I mean, these guys look like they've got the skill. They've got good grip on the toes as well. I know Spencer's got lovely toes, so. We'll see Th we that is, that's, that's specific. Thank you. Uh, how, who do you think is going to win? Red or turquoise? As long as the reds lose, I don't care. So. Ooh. Up the turquoise. I'm not salty or anything, just, you know. Uh, all right, all right. So I think that's what Jack was talking about. All right, let's head on up here. I, I would like a quick word from... The pink team, the pink team captain, before we get this underway, who, who do you think is going to win this one? Um, red. Red. Just because, <laughs> just because I'm beefing turquoise, so red. All right, I love it. It sounds like a bunch of teams are rooting for different teams. Where, where's Els? Have we lost Els already? Els is right here. Okay, great. Uh, Els, do you want to do the honours and count them in? In three, two, one. They need to get to the furthest away dot. The next one can now start because they've reached the first dot. But they are battling all, oh dear, a disc has flown. They're battling all of the elements here. This wind is 70 miles per hour and they have jet washes also. Um, and to top all that off, there's some washing up liquids on the mat, which makes it very, very slippery indeed. It's not going very well so far for the turquoise team who are really trying. They're trying their hardest, but they're not actually reaching any of the spots. And the timer is still going. The washing up liquid is <laughs> really hard. Cal, what are your thoughts? This is absolute carnage. 
It is going crazy. People are chucking everything. Carmi has made it. Carmi has made it. Yes, yes. Oh no, oh no, oh no. He's going all the way back. Oh dear, oh. <laughs> Moyo is doing a fantastic, oh dear. They're oh no, his arse is out. Moyo's arse is out. Oh, he's done it. He's done it, we've got one on. This is chaos. We did say there was gonna be TikTokers making a mug out of themselves and wow, we have that right here with the cyclone. And there's a curveball. <laughs> the hose has got the turquoise team. And I don't really know what the tactic is here, but the space bunny has hit one of the turquoise team in the face, knocked them over. It's not going great, really, is it? I don't really see how. Oh, we have a fast runner, but he's been tackled down to the ground there. And once you are down, it's very hard to get back up again, as we can see. If you make it up to the end, you will be targeted by the jet washers. But we are making progress. There's currently four of the turquoise team on their spots, actually five. We just need two more turquoise team members to be on their dots. One of the dots has actually been destroyed by a jet wash. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five of the turquoise team on the jet wash. Two of the bots have been moved. Cal, Cal, can I get your thoughts on this performance? Oh, oh my, I'm not gonna lie. It kind of looks a bit painful. It hurts. <laughs> Quick there! Oh my God, this is, I've honestly never experienced anything like this. Oh my gosh. Here we go, all right, all right. Last person, and it's done! Oh my God. <laughs> this is mental, this is, I've never seen anything like this. Here we go. All right, that's it. It is absolutely done. Good job. The timer is off. Oh my gosh. That, mate, what was that all about? That was mental. That was mental. What the hell? That was ridiculous. The red team are soaking and they haven't even been yet. Oh no. Uh, it looks like Cal the Dragon won't be participant I hope he's okay Luke we were we have been enemies all day I think this would be a, a united <laughs> message to everyone watching that teams can unite I will leave my yellow team for that oh, gold medal he's a, traitor. he's a traitor this is the effect we have wow I can't believe it after all that trash talk is willing to leave his team for the red team that would be a serious plot twist all right, guys, so as you guys know, unfortunately, Cal did have to pull out, but that means there is a substitute for the red team. Would you please like to announce yourself? Drum roll. Okay, I can't do this out of bed. All right, come on, Ed. Oh my, wow, wow. That is some serious traitor energy. I can't believe what I'm seeing. This man was talking all sorts of smack about. What are your thoughts on this? That's disgusting. He's got a knee strap on as well, so he wants to watch that knee. He wants to watch, he wants to watch that right knee. All right. Let's do, let's get them ready for this one, Els. In three, two, one, go! Oh my, first person's out the gates. Oh, listen to the wind. Listen to it. It's very powerful and overbearing, but Crystal has currently made it to the first dot. But as always, it's not as simple as you think because you will be targeted by those all-important hoses. We have our second competitor trying to make their way to the dot. The next member of the red team has stepped foot onto the cyclone. And it is a cyclone. We are seeing <laughs> Luke is being attacked from the side. And Cole is now stepping up <laughs> onto the 
Cyclone. Strong performance so far from the red team. Cow, reactions please. Mate, this is just absolute carnage. Cole Anderson is struggling to make his way to the top. Oh, and his horse is out. Oh, his bottom, his bottom is on display. Oh, and Cole Anderson hit the deck. It's Jack Joseph, the GOAT. Oh, it, oh my God, he's done it. He's done it. Oh my God. They're so close to being at the end. Oh my. Where is the third one? It's just there. He just needs to get there. It's just there. Cole, Cole, it's there. It's there. It's there. Oh, he's gone past it. He's gone past it. It's just here, Cole. Cole, it's just here. You gotta get over here. That's it right there. Oh, and that's it. That is time. Good job, guys. Good job. The time has been stopped. Hello, everyone. They say it's the taking part that counts. However, we're all here to find out who won, aren't we? The results of the Sports Direct Sports Fest. And Cal is going to reveal who has won. Okay, so uh, we don't really care unless, unless you're top three. So in third place. Okay, Orange was last. Is that what you wanted to hear? All right, all right, there we go, there we go. All right, all right. Then in third place is the Yellow Team. Okay, now after definitely the most insane event, the Cyclone, we do have our winners. So in second place, the team that came second, that just missed out, that was slightly slower on the Cyclone, is the Turquoise Team! Meaning the Red Team are this year's Sports Direct Sports Fest champions. So there it is. <laughs> How are you feeling? You did come third at the end of it. Listen, I'm proud of my team, man. Shout out my team. What's it like being on the winning team, sir? It feels good. It feels good to be on the winning team. It was inevitable. I think, you know, we, we knew it, everyone knew it, that we were going to be the winners. As a captain of the team, do you feel proud? It is what it is, mate. I never had any doubts, ever. Yeah, we had the best time, so much fun, and even better that we, we smashed it by a clear mile. So. Exactly. Best team, best win. Is anybody else here holding two medals? Are they? I got a gold. And a bronze, yeah. I had to do it that good, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just that good. You know what I mean? Okay, that, no, no, that's that enough. Good. That's enough.
Yo, it's your boy Charlie Sloth, the People's Prince, the best looking fat guy in the universe, and we are here at Sports Direct's Sports Fest. It's gonna be an absolute mazzoline. Are you ready? 